So I wanted to explain the Melcon review assignment really quick. Um, the directions, so you're going to review the notes. These are all the notes to every different element of Melcon. So if you need to review any of these, just click the hyperlink here and it will take you to those slides. Um, each area has its own task that will help you review an important aspect of the Melcon writing structure. So we've written a Melcon. Now we're going to review this just to make sure we remember all the steps that we want to complete um, and all the little pieces of information that go along with them. This is going to help you prepare as we begin to think about writing another Melcon here in the near future. Um, so let's take a look. Main idea. So this is our first part, the M. Using the main ideas presented below, highlight the topic red, the verb green, the position blue, and the reason orange. So for one and two right here, you have full main idea sentences. You're just showing which part um, of each sentence is which based on your highlighting. Um, and then down here, the second part of the main idea, so a different task for the same idea. Respond to these prompts with a main idea of your own. Make sure they have a topic, verb, position, and reason. So you're just writing your own main idea sentences to these two questions here. All right. Evidence is going to be our second part, the E of the Melcon. Given the context and the quote, identify any of the background information in the context that is given. Notice the context is highlighted green. So you're looking in the green area and you're identifying some of those W's, okay? Same, same here for number two. So one and two, same thing for evidence. Quoting and citing directions. Highlight correct or wrong for these citations. If wrong, explain why. So you're going to look, look here, correct or wrong. You're going to read the quote with the citation at the end. If it is formatted correctly, you would highlight correct. If it is formatted incorrectly, you would highlight wrong. And then you would just explain what you need to change here. What is incorrect? What would it look like correct? So either correct it or tell me what's wrong. Either will do. So the same thing for these three questions here in the quoting and citing. Link, given the main idea and the evidence, answer the questions that you would want, that you would answer to create your links. So you have a main idea sentence, you have evidence already. Um, you're gonna base your two link or I'm sorry, you're going to highlight the main idea's position in blue first. So you're going to look up here and you're going to highlight the position blue, similar to what we did in the main idea section to begin with. Then you're going to look at the main idea again, and you're going to highlight the reason orange. So remember, the position and the reason are the two things at the end. So those are something we're going to be looking at. Highlight the position and the reason blue and orange. Then number three, still basing off the same main idea and evidence. How does the evidence prove the main idea's position? So what's the connection? How does this help prove that this is correct? And then uh, how does the evidence prove the main idea's reason? So we're looking back at the part that we highlighted orange. How does the evidence connect with that? All right. Concluding sentence. So this is near the end. Directions given the main idea and evidence. So the same thing as before. Actually, it's the same exact main idea and evidence. So you can just think of it as a continuing part. Um, create a possible concluding sentence. Same thing here. You're still highlighting the position blue and the reason orange. It's the same main idea. So you'd be highlighting it the same way. Then you are going to write your own concluding sentence based off the main idea and the evidence. All right. So we're working on summarizing that. And you can see a little formula for that below. We want to add a transi transition phrase at the beginning. We're working to rephrase the main idea position, so what we wrote in blue, and then we are summarizing the evidence down here um, as our reason. And then we're just going to highlight the various parts that we wrote of our concluding sentence. So a lot of similar skills. We're just looking at the different parts of a Melcon and then trying to get some more practice for each area and each skill. So that is our goal here for today. If you have questions about it after watching the video, after reading through the instructions, please feel free to email your teacher. They are definitely here to help um, and they will, they will get you going in the right direction. So thanks for watching and good luck.